Let's take a look at some keyboard shortcuts that will help us navigate around large files within Nav. Let's start by making a few modifications to this current file. In this case, I've added three functions, say hello, say hello to, and say hello three. Adam has a couple great shortcuts, especially when jumping around files. The first one allows you to jump to a particular line number. So in this case, you can invoke this by using the control G command. So in this case, if I wanted to jump to line five, just simply type five here. It also allows you to jump to both a line and a column number. So as you can see in the bottom corner of the screen, it always keeps track of the line number and column number you're on. So if I wanted to navigate to that line number again, I could just say five colon 17, and that would take my cursor to that point. Another handy tip is to use the command R button, which will list all of the methods or symbols that are used within a file. So in this case, I have three functions within my JavaScript function. It allows me to just simply navigate between those and go directly to that line. One additional option that Adam has is what are known as bookmarks. So by using command option F2, I can toggle in different bookmarks within the file. This is handy if you have certain functions that you're constantly going back to and you want a quick and easy way to navigate between the pane. You can simply just use this to toggle these on and off again, and then just use the F2 function to navigate and jump the cursor between this. One last handy feature is the ability to jump between the open and closing brackets. So if I go to the end of a bracket and I hit Control M, I'll be automatically taken to the end of that bracket. This is handy, especially if you have a really large function that includes multiple lines or nested functions in which it may be hard to determine the open and close bracket. 